uh, in this video series, no pun intended, I'm going to show you how to evaluate limits using McLaurin series. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'll provide you a total of three examples that are going to get more and more difficult. Um, all right. Now, if you try to evaluate this limit as is, uh, you're going to get zero over zero, right? Um, this quotient right here. And zero over zero is an indeterminate form where we can use L'Hopital's rule. And so you could do that. And in fact, I have a lot of uh, videos on L'Hopital's rule, so check those out. Um, but instead, as I said here, we're going to use series expansion. So to start, what we're going to do is write the Maclaurin series expansion for e to the x. And you should be familiar with this, but yeah, e to the x is equal to the infinite sum here on the right side. 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus dot dot dot. You get it. That infinite sum that I just said equals e to the x, right? Okay, cool. And now uh, I'm going to highlight that the first two terms of the infinite sum that expresses e to the x are 1 and x. And so then... Uh, to get the numerator of the expression that we want to take the limit of here, what we ought to do is subtract 1 and x from both sides of the infinite sum that expresses e to the x. Doing that, uh, we get an infinite sum that expresses e to the x minus 1 minus x, namely x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus dot dot dot. And then next, predictably, what we're going to do is divide by x squared on both sides of the last equation I displayed. And doing that, we get this following uh, equation, right? Okay, cool. Now, the right side of our equation here, this last thing I displayed, uh, can be reduced. Specifically, x squared over x squared is 1, x cubed over x squared is x, and yada yada. So doing that, we have this. And at this point, we have, as desired, a series expansion for the quotient that we want to take the limit of as x goes to 0. So we're ready to take the limit, and let's do that. So uh, when we take the limit as x goes to 0, um, we see that on the right side here, and the infinite sum, all of the terms except for the very first term have x's in them. So they all turn to 0 when x goes to 0. And therefore, when x goes to 0, the limit is going to be 1 over 2 factorial, also known as 1 half. Yeah? Cool. All right. Keep watching. There will be two more examples. Take care.